Right, let's check that I'm recording. Yeah, I lost a little, lost half a session on Avon, so I'm just trying to be careful. I hate it. Always happens when like someone something disturbs you and you forget to hit record later on, and that's exactly what happened. Missed a bit of the harvest on one of the Avon valleys. So yeah, there's luckily, obviously statistically, it matches with the harvest because we took a bit of a hit. But yeah, it's typical. I don't, I don't. I'm not a massive fan of rolling back. I mean, I know how you, uh, those who watch me a lot, know how I feel about cheating. I truly do, absolutely abhor it. But I could roll it back, but it is that's a bit soul destroying as well. I've had that a few times on Agres <laughs> when we discovered that the uh, starting spring rod, although it says you can leave it on, you can't. Well, unless they fixed it now, that you couldn't, or or you couldn't with the mods I've got. There was obviously some sort of mod clash with it, even though the um, creator says you quite welcome to leave it ticked. Not not in my opinion. Yeah, we we've, we've tried to leave it tucked on and there. Uh, no, it really doesn't like it. No, so I switch it off now. It, it doesn't need to be on. It only needs to be on for the very first month anyway, till so that you get spring and you start in March. So yeah, I, I've started to disable it. It may be okay now, but it's uh, yeah, I'm not not risking it. Brilliant. Now then, remember we need to feed them. Yeah, they've just got to do the uh, the other thing I'd like to do before we get into the harvest. It's going to rain anyway, so it's not like a, I've not really got a rush or anything because it's going to rain before we start. Oh, hang on, is it? it? What time is the is the rain? Remind me. I did look on the last episode, but I can't remember. No, oh, actually, no. We need to be getting on with the harvest soon then. Right, actually, then what I was going to say was. I'm going to use the telehandler to push the wood stuff off the one that's, um, yeah, because it, it can't, it's blocked one of our, why is that not, have I already done this? Oh, I did do one, didn't I? I think, yeah, and then I've got to do the second one, I think. If this is, yeah, I'm sure I didn't, I'm sure on last episode I said I'm going to do, I'm not, I'm not doing this, because I'd already done two of these. I mean, I got us through to the month of October, didn't I, really, with, without a time lapse as well, <laughs> which was very unusual for this particular job. Yeah, I am right. Oh, I'm not. I did do it. I, I just, oh, I did that. I remember now I did. I did this one thing. I remember saying, oh, yeah, I do. I wasn't going to do it, and then I did say, right, I'm going to do it, so I did. But I haven't done the cows as, as far as I remember. So let's go down there. I'm going to switch the lorry on craftily as we pass, and then we're going to put this in. Oh, oh! I thought I'd missed one then. I was going to say it's behind. I can only see the one thing. So right, let's start your engine, and let's grab. We we'll put that in, and we will feed the cows. We should be able to see if we. Step out now. We should be able to see if I'm right. I don't think I did the cows. No, I didn't. Eight thousand five. Yeah, it would. It's yeah. That's that's good. They still got food. That's all that matters. That we didn't. But yeah, we, we obviously didn't do the cows. Fantastic. So we've not got much to do really, though. If it's only the cows that are left, it's just a fantastic place to be. Yeah. What I was going to say was I wanted to use this to push the wood out on that. Uh, the, that. Um, Oh, it's, which one is it? I, I, well, I, I, yeah, I, I know which one it is, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, one of the new silver run ones. Um, I think it's, is it posts and stuff like that? Um, yeah, it is something like that, definitely. Right, anyway, we need to grab the straw. Am I going to time lapse this? No, we're going to chat because we're going to go into a time lapse as soon as we do the two uh, harvests, which is obviously the main thing that we're doing today. Yeah, the, the last bits and bobs that we've got to do on Silver Run. So, yeah, the end is near. Oh, well, Kevin has made a comment. I have not replied yet because I haven't had a chance and I wanted to come on to this, but I am going to also reply to what Kevin said. Yeah, I, I asked a question and Kevin answered it. Um, obviously, if anyone else does feel strongly, though, uh, Kevin's a, a, a cracking, the same as Marty, a, a really good... 
uh, does answer the questions and I know uh, I know as I said myself in that uh, last episode oh, I think, actually I think it was on Avon Valley I confuse myself sometimes because they talk about another let's play on all of them really I, you know there's a bit of crossover with my chitter chatter yeah from let's play to let's play because to me it all obviously well you know it's draw a one yeah so Kevin answered the question that I asked about if um, anybody wants to see the uh, I would say I have for a long time promise and I, I really don't mind it's just that as I said in last episode was if nobody's that bothered I will get on with the Ohio Richlands because there are obviously lots of videos but if people are bothered then please be vocal please let me know because I really I don't like letting people down and I don't like being a liar so if if like you do feel strongly even if there's only one person please yeah leave me a uh, comment and I will do it but yeah it just seems a little bit silly when there are already lots of people that have done that and I'm happy with not seeing it, as in like with watching somebody else's video on doing it. I will do as well, because I'm interested in seeing it. Pharmacop, I watched the beginning of his video. It would be nice to see actually how that goes. But there's a lot of work involved. No, I don't mind. I'm not afraid of the work. It's just that that's all that's left to do. You know, we, we, this will very soon, and we are reaching quite high amounts. I thought we were going to be stuck at about five mil. And I've got to be honest, I think there's going to be an awful lot of clothes and, and at a cheaper price than I would like them to be bought. Yeah, what this time saving stock check will say. We will take all of that outside though, and I shall stop. Oh, I've not done that in a long time. Yeah, we will stop them spawning. And we'll take what's already spawned and we will sell that no matter what. So yeah, I don't want there to be a... Because that, that, there's quite a lot of money tied up in those. And there are a lot that have spawned on both. So yeah, those ones I'm going to stop it spawning. And well, on the final episode I'm talking about. And we will... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to miss out um, that. Because there's a lot of money tied up in that. I mean, that is one of our biggest single... Um, things it is a fantastic I do love it with the sheep they are yeah in FS19 obviously without the production side of the element which when well, you consider it obviously in real life that wool does is a very important and a lucrative business it really is it's so we we do, we do the just the selling of wool before in FS19 now that with the production obviously it can make sheep one of the best things I personally think of one of the best money spinners in the game I mean, I know cotton's good as well, but I'm talking about you know animals. I mean, wool was the product that we got from sheep. No, that, no, I don't think you finished yet. I think you've got plenty yet. You're only halfway there. At least another two. At least maybe three. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, if you do feel strongly, please, please voice your opinion, and I will do it. I, I will. I did promise that I would, and I did mean that promise. It's just that now. As we're getting closer, I'm thinking, well, I did. I, I just I put my words out there and said, well, yeah, but are you really that bothered? Or, or shall I get cracking with Ohio Richlands is, is the bottom line. You know, because uh, it, all it is is just me showing the boats, which there are videos already out there that do show that. And just to show the... Uh, and the, the boat's the easy one. It is. But the um, roller coaster's got four or five stages. And... Yeah, because of our woods, yeah, I mean, I tried to buy all of the things so I could show it, and uh, that's, yeah, we've got some of them stuck. I mean, I know why it is now, it's because it is, it is difficult, the storage in them isn't massive, so therefore you can only have two or three sort of tons of each one, and then it just grinds to a halt, so again, storage is not fantastic, and therefore, yeah. The things I would have needed for the roller coaster are absolutely chocker. Well, I think that was. No, one more. Yeah, one more, and we'll be as close to full as possible. Yeah, now it is pretty much using that now. I think that was out because there was that was a stone floor, whereas now that it does that that's the animation for when the straw in there. So I think, yeah, it's uh, again another one of those mods where capacity's not quite there for when it's full yeah I mean yeah even and I'm not that's not me having a go Rawley Christie my favorite my cow pasture that equally at the very end when that's got 500 cows in it it's 
yeah, you've got to feed these animals at last thing at night if you was in the my cow pasture because there's no way that food is lasting. So again, it's it's a common thing. So yeah, but I mean again, it's it's done well. It is you you would have to feed your animals uh, last thing as well if that was the case. If they you know if it's a massive massive cow, cow yard and you're feeding isn't enough for right, I think that was it. I do think this time we're at thirty odd tons. We are indeed. We cannot fit another one in. Brilliant. Right, let's get cracking now with the lorry. And I'm not going to time lapse it. No, we're going to uh, get cracking. I know there's a few bits of wood that I missed as well. Yeah. O over the few sessions, but I mean, to be honest, we've got a massive, massive thing of wood. But uh, I, again, we will take the stock time-saving stock checks word for it when we do tot up. If there's any spare wood and it says it's 300 gram, we will give us, you know, that we're going to go on the time saving stock checks word that we would have 300,000 or whatever it says. Yeah, again, at the very end now, I have, I have started to do that because it does save you a little bit of work. It's not, it, it tells you the truth. It's only worth what it's worth at that time as well. So it's not like you're even, you're not fiddling the books or anything. It literally is telling you if you sold it that what it is and it it is very it, it does add an, a fantastic element right now we need to be reversing that away and this time I'm going to remember to do the milk right now then let's yeah let's get this right because this is where it used to go wrong because it used to pull me around very quickly we have changed that and it does not do what it used to do and you are going to hit that yeah that's not as good as that oh, not as good as I can do it which proves it's not just <laughs> not just the thing no, it is actually uh, quite difficult to turn one at 90 degrees when you've got objects that you're going to hit it is Oh, and it still does pull you a little there, uh, but not like it used to. It was really, really bad. Right, now then straighten up. And then, yeah, you really have got to be almost switching the wall to make this actually pop as well. I was right, I showed that in the last episode. Oh, oh you see what I mean? It's about to hit the wall. <laughs> Literally. Ah. And because this moves, I'm going to have to keep going backwards. Yeah, Roadrunner and is it the Warrior as well that does that? No, this is the Warrior, that's right. The Roadrunner. No, it's the Roadrunner's fine actually. It is the Warrior that does it. Yeah, you see it stopped filling because Oh no, it hasn't. It stopped filling because it's it's full. <laughs> as much as is in there. Yeah, twenty one tons. I'm sure this used to do every single day about twenty seven. I know we did we threw it out a bit, but then this is still a full day. So I don't understand why we've suddenly lost capacity anyway it is what it is I'm yeah I'm not gonna worry about it nothing I can do about the vagaries of life and vague and uh, life is like that yeah I mean the capacities do go up and down even with the same amount of cows because something's upset them one night or yeah as simple as, as that really yeah, so if anyone does feel strong about it, please, please let me know. And I will honestly do it. I, it doesn't bother me. It's just that it seems a waste if no one is bothered about it. So Kevin said he's quite happy with this. If it's holding up Let's Plays, then let's just get cracking with the Let's Plays. So I, I feel that way as well. So if anyone doesn't, please voice your opinion. Because, uh, yeah, I will do it. Even if there's one person that was looking forward to that from me that hasn't seen it already or it, you know doesn't want to look at someone else's video then I will do it I will I said I would and I don't mind doing it I really don't I must admit I am uh, looking forward to getting onto Ohio Richlands as well I really am yeah it's a, a fresh challenge but yeah I've, I've got to get better at um, the the last bit of a let's play, I always um, well usually because there's a lot, and if you've got animals, the animal side of it is samey samey. Riverside was the same samey samey every single morning. The pigs and the cows and the sheep, yeah. And I like to show it all for chain of evidence, 
but of course you are doing that every single day as well so it does become a bit samey samey but then it does on every single let's play so again it's one of those things that I've got to get better at that's the last I like the challenge of the beginning where until the tipping point as Mr. CDP would say which I think is not a bad analogy yeah it's uh, I, I do I like that and then after that I seem to get not bored exactly but yeah it's a uh, that that seems to be the uh, the bit that I've always liked is the beginning bit where it's very very challenging and you're struggling with your equipment and the, when it turns I don't mean I like to struggle with equipment but I mean when you when it is tough uh, especially on the start from scratches that that's really to me Avon Valley's reached that point where although we are still with yeah our equipment is terrible it really is and I don't mean that what I mean is we've got two farm walls, a little Zeta and a um, torpedo. <laughs> we'll say that, not the rocket. Yeah, the torpedo as well. So um, we really do need another 150. Yes, as low as 150 horsepower tractor is what we need. We've had that many tractors drop over the months that we couldn't afford. It's unbelievable, right? So we want to grab, and this has a hitch at the back. So this should grab that. But really the 30 ton is not the ideal but it does feel quickly so yeah it's trouble is it's oh they can let's get there. I think it can it's got a proper hitch and proper electrics as well so it, it really should be able to do it yeah let's see it, it, oh aha there is some in and we will get the yeah this is not really the right one for this we could really could do with the 70 ton where have I put the 70 ton there because it really would be much, much ideal, much more ideal to actually get the 70 tonner because it, it'll do the the manure and that in one hit. I don't want that. Oh, it's there. I know why. I know why. It was because of washing it. But do you know something? I'm going to wash it. I think we might have a tractor on it already. We have indeed. Right, so we can leave the... the yeah, I was, was going to say uh, it is the worry. Yeah. Right, let's grab that. And let's get the... Yeah, we'll get the manure first, because this had manure last, and that doesn't need washing, and then we'll wash it to do the total mix ration. Uh, yeah, the last two jobs on this to do. That middle door always throws me out. So I always think I've left the straw door open, which I have done a couple of times on the Let's Play. But yeah, it's not. But I always think, oh, I've left the straw. <laughs> I've left the straw door, and, and I haven't at all. Right, that this needs a bit of TLC. It is. Oh no, we don't need to chop it up. We just need to wash it. it really is exceptionally mucky. And we're not washing that yet, but we will do. In fact, yeah, I should have washed much. You know, it's filling, it's true. I'm not wasting time, really. Which is why I love this mod, because you can do this when you're filling up and stuff like that and keep everything nice and clean. And it's very, very convenient. Right, yeah, we're not going to make this difficult. We're going to do this the easy way. You yeah, don't waste any time. We've got, obviously, the harvest to do, and it is going to rain in a bit, but we should, should, although those clouds do look a little early. I hate this when you get bad weather. Yeah, I have a few times on FS19 and FS22 had the weather come before it says a long time as well. So it's only half past nine in the morning. Yeah, we don't want to be losing harvest time. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get this done as soon as possible. So then, last job of the day, let's feed our cows. I mean, you know, of the day as in like, oh, no, 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 that's not enough. Yeah, let's spin around a bit more. And then let's wash this before we fill it with food, as you would if you just filled it with manure. Yeah, now imagine I'm obviously following because I didn't. I did actually clean this not long back. As you can see, it's quite pristine, but not inside. We are cleaning the inside as well, which obviously I can't show. But we would be doing this completely properly. This is my nod in the right direction that we did think about it and did actually clean the inside. Yeah, that's as good as I can actually do it. 
yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything I yeah I'm posting one uh, one of Agress's uh, episodes today and and another silver run. So yeah, I'm getting back into the silver runs. This is. Yeah, this won't be the last episode because there's always what I call the ca the cashing up stage. We've got the harvest to do, so we've got yeah the uh, the sugar ha sugar cane harvest. I'm disappointed with that because of the posts. Yeah, I really am. It it really sort of t took the shine off of it. Oh yeah, TMR. Yeah, it did. Um, so I, I love doing sugar cane as well. But obviously, normally every single sugarcane uh, harvest I've done has never had any posts at the end of it. So I shall have to be careful next time I do a sugarcane harvest, because although you can squeeze it in anywhere, in another way, well, yeah, not if you've got posts um, out the back and then you do you, you turn around. So yeah, I'm gonna have to live and learn on that one. Never had that happen before. Now I can't say that anymore. I've got to be more careful next next time we do it. So I do enjoy doing my sugar cane. It's one of those rare sort of treats that, uh, no, yeah, not many people in the show love to sugar cane. It's true. But I must admit, I personally like it. And I think we need more. I think we need. Oh no, oh no! I think we're going to be out good. I think we're going to be totally full. Totally. I think we're going to be, yeah, we're going to go and grab another 70 tonnes so that at the end of the day we can top this up. Because it's these are the days when you get that, um, where you run out. So, because you didn't quite top it up and your animals are on full. So, therefore, they really, I mean, we, we saw what we had. It was only it was eight or six, eight tonnes, I think. And that's, that's bad. So yeah, if you left it below top over through the night then you could actually, uh, yeah, your animals might be out of food. We don't want that. Good husbandry on this farm. We, yeah, we don't want to leave our... Oh, wow. 72% the, uh, the lorry. That's took some hammer. Right, yeah, let's top this up. And then we've got a massive amount for tomorrow morning. We will be here, I would say, till December, January. I would say. I'm not sure, though. It depends. As It's weird with the catching up stage of a Let's Play. Some are, let, some are nice. Riverside was not. Riverside didn't want me to go. Oh, and I've just hit that corner. No, Riverside was uh, rebelling against me leaving. Yeah, it really was. Every single thing that could possibly go wrong. I think that was what tipped me over the edge with my episode I think yeah it's it's a stress thing isn't it a stress reaction I think um, when things like that go on I'm sure that was really it it, I, it really did it wasn't the no, and it really wasn't the um, corn harvest that I enjoyed I really did um, it was a bit repetitive which of course it is because you do the same thing over and over again but then again farming simulator is you're repeating the entire thing all over again but on different maps and that's the fun of it isn't it Are the the actual turning farms around when you've, you know, really low money and, and then like going into th hundreds of thousands a session and, and, you know, like we're doing here. We earn hundreds of thousands now nearly every single day because we've got lots of, lots and lots of businesses. Right, so then. Right, I'm actually going to record this in a second session. So, yeah, this is where I'm leaving this session. So I'm not going to say goodbye. Because the future me is going to take over from this particular moment, and he's going to uh, do the harvest. So yes, I shall leave it in future me's hands. Hello and welcome. Right, I shouldn't have said that. I'm a terrible, terrible for that. <laughs> when I'm joining sessions, I often forget. <laughs> I shouldn't say hello again. Yeah, my bad. Apologies. Yeah, I've started the harvester off, and I thought let's quickly grab the uh, trailer and uh, take it over to uh, to the field. Yeah, and the other thing we've got to do is, um, well, I'm not sure. This is a very tall trailer, but then that pipe is really big. But we shall see. I, I'm, I have my misgivings as to whether this is going to work or not. In fact, do you know? Let's take the thirty tonner as well. 
and I didn't start your engine, did I? But it is very appropriate that you are in this journey, as you were the one that really, really started this off. Although it was originally the Giants when I was trying to make the Volvo work, but it didn't work. It couldn't do half the jobs that we needed it to do. So this was brought in, and this, yeah, took up the yoke. And look at where that led. It wasn't just down to this, but it was without this, we wouldn't have got to where we got to. So it's highly appropriate that this is in the journey at the end. Yeah, it's getting close now, I know, and it's uh, it's real. We have got the uh, sugar cane harvest to do as well. But yeah, this is uh, it's becoming real to me now. It's been a really fantastic journey, to be honest. Now, why are you... Yeah, that's the one we want. It has been a very fantastic journey. And with a lot of... Um, yeah, I love what we've done with the place as well. I really do. It's uh, been a fantastic ride. A very different to any other ride I've had. And also, as I have said quite frequently, I think Giants have really, really done a good job of this. It is amazing. It really is. Now then... Is, is our follower following at a close enough distance that they're not going to fall into the drink. <laughs> we don't want any more of that. Once on a Let's Play's enough. It is, yes. We've had some exciting and uh, very different times. I still still remember that. It, it was so out of the blue. It really was. Now, technically, we should be cutting the grass, but we've got a lot on so I am going to give myself that one thing I know I, I go on about um, but yeah it is what like I've always said actually it's not about the cutting the grass it's about what comes afterwards it's the yeah, sending it to the BGA and all that type of stuff that's what takes the months after the cuts it's not about the actual cutting the grass that, that we could do we could grab it in we could stick it in but then it gives more months of time that uh, yeah it does that that's what it's really about it's not about me being lazy or me not being realistic and finishing the journey properly but it really is completely about can we do this straw again same difference really i i think this one i think if i read the signs okay right let's pull this further down And let's grab the other one and we're going to take the other one round the back. It's got cell phone load on, so thank you very much, Ray. Yeah, it's a very tall, very tall. Now then, we could grab some from this for now as we're passing. It seems highly appropriate. Then this is difficult to do if I remember right. You have to be very close to the end of the header. Well, no, actually, I think it's if it's the 12 meter you do. Yeah, and we'll take this once we've emptied out what's in there. We'll take this around the other side. The only find, the thing I find a bit odd, that, that sort of animation or where it doesn't animate dropping down, it's a bit strange. There must be some reason for why it's not capable of doing that. Let's stick this around the other side. And we have a sugar cane thing. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm going to leave this. We're going to uh, pop across the road and run over to yeah the shop. And we are going to lease a one of the two meter sugar cane I think we might also lease one of the trailers. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. For once, I am going to stick a bit of speed on. Because it's, it's quite a way to run. <laughs> yeah. Blast from the past. No, that is, yes, this is the right road. Yes. 
six thousand. We, we we bought the metal. <laughs> we, we showed William, <laughs> and I did do the floor tiles. I've got the floor tiles and everything. The staircase railing. Oh, I did need staircase railing. See, I did do the research to begin with about this. Right, let's take that down to normal. Right. I never did buy that other sort of thing there, did I? It, it, it was. It's a good idea that is, but I tried it, and I, I think it needs a lot of. Uh, work from you the user to make it work right and I think a lot of it's there's quite a bit of look elements to it I think unless they get stuck to something or I don't know how how you could do that but right we want sugar cane technology which should be S's and we are going to lease the original one of that one there yeah and we're going to do that And we're going to lease the sugar tr sugar cane, the bigger of them. So we want S's again for sugar cane. And we were actually on it. So we want to, which is the biggest? Yeah, we're going to go for the Massey. Oh, that's a planter. I can say I've not, not really seen these. What is? Oh, wow, an automated... Uh, Sugar cane, right, okay. And let's lease that. Now then, do we... Yeah, let's, let's grab this. And of course it's facing the wrong way. Oh no, it's not. Oh, you can hitch them together. No, I didn't know that, strangely enough. Uh, we can't hitch this. Now I thought there was one that you caught. Okay, let's try the other one then. I'm sure I, oh, I might be imagining it. It's a while since I've done this on the. Uh, I could have sworn you could actually hook this up and take it yourself. I might be wrong. Frequently, am. Ah, no, you were right. But I do think we ought to grab another tractor. And we will grab that other one because we could be, we all know that sugar cane is. Yeah, now this is a shame, this harvest, right? I did prove this, that this really does. Now then. Let's unfold. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And we will go and grab. Ah, now there is one thing I'd like to do as well. Yeah, that I meant I uh, was going to do this a while back. And that's just to test the theory, because this would do then. Harvester seems to be doing okay. May have unloaded. That's the trouble I've been concentrating on this. Yeah, now there is the hitch thing for lorries. Now I used it on uh, one and it didn't work. But was it this one? Yeah, I'm not not sure which one it was. But let's let's go grab another one and just test it on this one. And it is in miscellaneous, I believe. Yeah, there's the universal hitch for forage harvesters. Now that I've never, again, I haven't tried that because actually most of the forage uh, harvesters have got a hitch now. So again, I've never needed it, but it, it's there for those that uh, don't actually work. Or, or yeah, but so far I haven't really needed it at all. Right, so there it is. That's the foragers one. And there is a universal truck rear hitch. It says universal, but so far I've never got it to work but then I've only tried it once so let's try it on this one I'm not sure which way it goes either but if it's going to work it's just going to pop into it I would imagine like that amazing hooray <laughs> fantastic so we know it works on the dog now. That is fantastic. It really is. 
I do love it with the, what did I try it on? Oh, it was the uh, 1313 pack. It was. It, that didn't like it. Right, so we've got a spare as well. Let's get this show on the road. Now then, Padme, are you going to be self-unloading? And I've, I've got to be a bit more patient than I do realise. I'm a terror. Let's get this going. Yeah, this does unfortunately wreck um, some of the sugar cane, but it's better this, I think, than actually either leaving it or... You know, like, I mean, we, we lost some last year, and it was it was a travesty. I really did. It was the worst sugarcane harvest I've ever had because of bashing into all of the um, things that we had to do. So, right, let's get this part. Now, I think this might be better in that view, truthfully, for once. Now, then, before we do this, though, I think. I think we need to stop our follower from following for the time being. Thank you very much. Leia. Now, or have we not lowered? No, we haven't. Now we have. Yeah, this is definitely better in the hands of a worker, but better that we damage it and try than not to do it at all. I just love the speed of sugarcane. It, it's got to be one of my absolute favourite crops, but obviously only on the maps that support it. I'd love to do it in Britain, but you, you obviously you, you can't. It's not realistic. So I I, uh, I observe the reality, but I do love this sugarcane. It's got to be one of my favourite crops of all. It is a, a beaut as well. It really is. Now why are we not, I was going to say, why are we not going up on our sugar cane? Seems to fit and start. I think it's just just the nature of the beast. I think we're nearly. Oh no, we've still got a bit to get. Oh no. Now we were through the first run. I can't remember how much we actually got from this last year. But there was a lot of trampling and all sorts of shenanigans that went off last year, definitely. So, oh, and the, uh, yeah, Padme appears to have. And looks like Padme is going out to do some more. Fantastic. Right, let's pull around a little. I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be damaging it any more than as is necessary. Right, let's go down this side, and I think we're just going to go side to side. I'm going to time lapse this because it takes your concentration to, to make sure that you're on the right track. So I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
think this is the last bit I do and I think the sunflower harvest harvester has done it so yeah we'll go and have a quick pop over yeah I thought it only appropriate that we uh, drag almost all of the uh, tractors in that have had a part on this Just let that go yeah even the farm walls I'm not going to drag you through what they're a little slow to drag across the, the, the back on purpose but let's just get the last of this in and we'll have a look we'd, well I definitely would say that was better than last year with the sugar cane the thing I love about sugar cane as well is the fact that it regrows it's amazing so, such an economical crop and it is so it's beautiful to actually do it is one of those crops which is so underestimated I do love doing it and it's yeah it's I think the heart well I suppose it, the harvesters are no dearer than the sugar beet harvesters and that's a higher and all the rest of it yeah it is one that's not shown an awful lot really but I must admit I really do love I always have loved sugar cane I ought to shut a little bit more if I'm honest as well again it was, yeah we're playing on different maps it's really only the American ones and the yeah certain European ones that you could really do this on uh, and yeah well, I do go on enough I could have really done this on agros, really, if I think about it. But yeah, I was I was more caught by the feel of, um, yeah. Right, let's drop this down, and we will give the uh, shop call off camera to go and collect their stuff. We're just under seven million, so I would imagine, yeah, in a little while, we will bre definitely break that, and we beat the rain. We did, so that's amazing. I am going to cut this short because my alarm for work is going to literally go off in a few minutes. So we're just going to quick load. Should just be able to get in before it goes off and have a look at to see if there's sunflower in person. I know we can look on the map, but yeah, let's uh, let's look in person. Yes, I'm I'm passing the baton. If you didn't guess what I was doing, <laughs> from one tractor to the next. Yeah, in in honour of the uh, all of the work that uh, they've all done on this let's play, it has been a yeah. Even the little Zeta, uh, it did have its moments. It did we did use it a little? Uh, there were a lot of tasks that were out of its thing, but we did use it where possible. Let's have a look. Did we finish the field apart from yeah, some little tiny straggler? Oh, not much though. That's fantastic. So. Uh, yeah brilliant job how well did we do that is what I want to know how much have we got in this one and that, I think the other one's full definitely the fact that I would have used that to begin with so that if I am right is 63 tons of sunflowers it shows how big this field is that is amazing I very rarely get above 20 30 tons of sunflowers even on fairly large fields so uh, it's a little bit down here of clean up I'll probably do that off camera if I remember I know what I'm like I'm terror although that is quite a bit to waste it really is but I would imagine this is well I might be wrong oh okay 39 tons then in that case I thought I felt sure this one was going to be filled it is weird with um why why did it did I do oh I can't remember yeah it is strange how some some trailers get here. When I remember doing a sugar beet harvest, I know, yeah, well, if I keep this conversation up, the alarm's going to go off. So that's a conversation, hopefully, for another time, if I remember. So 39 tons of that, and let's have a look. How well did we do with the sugar cane? Is the question you're all going to be asking. Now, did we have any. I would say that is right. There were at least a couple of the twenties, and then uh, yeah, so fifty-five tons of sugar cane, and that is not only is it a fantastic. I mean, if you were selling sugar cane, it's a terrible price because of its how much you do. But it is an amazing crop. Anyway, I'm gonna have to cut this short. <laughs> I don't want the alarm going off on you. Yeah, I hope you're gonna stick with me on. I would imagine there's one or two more episodes left to see how we did do the cashing up stages I often call it yeah uh, I will try to get those little whip, whips off as well the little tiny bits of sunflower but with no further ado I'm gonna say goodbye for now